where the money follows behind you and the money that will file follow behind Monty Williams as he leaves Detroit is a pretty, pretty penny fired after just one season as being the head guy with the Pistons. Of course, they were historically bad this past season, but just how much of a shock or a surprise was this to you to see that the Pistons are saying bye bye to him? You know, it's surprising. Obviously, this is a historic contract. He reset the coaching market. I mean, look, Greg Popovich, Ty Lue, Steve Kerr, Eric Spolstra, all these coaches owe him a thank you because they all got these huge extensions in the wake of the deal that he signed. To fire a coach one year into a deal like that, six years, $78.5 million, that's a major commitment from ownership in a small market. And what we're hearing from Adrian Wojnarowski is that this decision was made on the ownership level. Tom Gores has decided after one year, I'm willing to pay this guy top of the market money to get rid of him, to get him out of the building. That's what happens when you go 14 and 68. It was surprising in the sense that the contract made it look like he was bulletproof, but they hired a new president of basketball operations in Trajan Langdon. They gave him the power to make the changes that he needed to top the organization. And now they're looking at this and they're saying after a 14 and 68 season, a 17 win season before that, we had to clean house. We needed a fresh start. Yeah, Williams is a two-time coach of the year, won it just most recently in 2022 with the Suns and then fired a year later. Looking forward, you have a Lakers job that's still open. Do you think we might hear Williams' names floated out there with any of these openings that are still there? Because you see there's still three teams need a guy. Yeah, I'll say this about the Lakers opening. He was a candidate in 2019 when he took the Phoenix job. At the time, it looked like he might have been able to get a lot, an offer from the Lakers. He chose Phoenix, takes them to the NBA Finals. I don't know that he's as much of a fit in Cleveland. So I think if he was going to get back in the, in the race next year, it would be with the Lakers. That said, it looked like he was going to take last year off. And he obviously has a lot of money coming to him. I don't think he's going to jump into a job just for the sake of doing it. I think Monty Williams is going to sit back and think, you know what? I was prepared to take a year off this year. The Pistons blew me away. It didn't work out. Let's reset. Let's maybe take a year off, relax, see what the market looks like next year. And as we saw with Mike Budenholzer in Phoenix, that can be pretty rewarding. You can get a better job that way if you're just willing to be patient. Yeah, the NBA has a new champion, but the news certainly not taking any time to slow down at all. Sam Quinn, thank you so much for two breaking news coming out of the NBA. And you know, the NBA is always covered over on the pod side, but beyond the arc, join Bill Ryder, John Gonzalez, and Ashley Nicole Moss. They'll have you covered along the way. You know they'll be chopping it up about this new news coming out of the association.